They say a man can go three days without water to survive. Clearly, they have never met a swimmer. Albert Einstein was quoted by saying that insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Well, I guess you can call us crazy. Every morning, we get up at 5 a.m. to jump in a cold pool and then look at a black line for miles. And with this repetition comes progress. We push ourselves every day trying to get better. We reek of chlorine, our hair is fried, and we couldn't be happier about that. There is no fame in swimming. In the grand scheme of things, your greatest accomplishments in this sport go unnoticed even by your closest friends. There is no money or professional league in swimming. Just you and the pool. That being said, swimmers are not driven by external motivation. In fact, you cannot swim unless you are fueled by the strongest internal motivation. When that alarm goes off in the morning, you pull yourself out of bed because you know that your work today will pay off in the future. You know that all the sweat and tears were worth it. They don't make movies about swimming. You don't read about swimming in the newspapers. And unless it's an Olympic year, some don't even consider swimming a sport. Clearly they have never witnessed it before. Why do we do this? Why do we put ourselves through agonizing practices day in and day out just for one big media year? We do this for ourselves. We do this because this is who we are. Swimming is not just a sport for us, it is a way of life. If there is a crossroads, we always take the path of most resistance. We look for hard work, not run away from it. We are a unique breed of human. Those who consider swimming an individual sport has never done it before. When you race, you know you're doing it for more than yourself. You're doing it for your whole team. With each stroke, you carry the weight of 30 other people as you strive to be the first to the wall. And that weight is a burden you couldn't imagine your life without. After we have swum thousands of laps for hundreds of hours of our year, we race for only a few minutes. We hear the buzzer go off, and we pour our heart and soul into that race knowing that every morning practice, every grueling weight session, every social event we've sacrificed was worth it. As we push our bodies to the point of complete exhaustion, we race to the wall. You're not just racing the person next to you, you're racing the clock, which represents more than just time. It represents generations of swimmers who've already done what you're doing now, and it represents the next wave of racers that will come after you. You see the wall approaching, you hold your breath, you give every ounce of energy you have left in your body. You give one last lunge and look back at the clock. And then it's over.